Yo, yo, welcome back. That has nothing to do with this video. I was just bored. Um, that is another project though. Today's video though is going over the Portapack H4M or H2 on the Mayhem firmware. Uh, this unit right here is running the nightly 2025-0529. And this unit over here is running the 2025-0526 nightly. I uh, haven't updated in a few days, obviously, but that shouldn't matter for the most part. We are going over the transmit function of the Portapack H4M or H2. As of right now, I'm gonna skip the BHTYXEP. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that is a wireless light uh, for like street lights. I don't know if we have too many here in the US. If I'm mistaken, somebody please chime in in the comments below and let me know. Um, but I know that this is a very popular lighting system in Europe and other areas in that side of the world. Um, so for now, we're going to skip that until I gain further knowledge if there are any in my area, which I doubt. But we're looking at Bluetooth or BLETX. If we go to this unit, we're going to go to receive and we're going to go set that to receive some Bluetooth. And of course, we're already populating some data here off of some just miscellaneous stuff in my vicinity, like my camera, my, my Meshtastic, my other camera above, and uh, my Flipper Zero over there, and just some miscellaneous stuff. If we go to the BLETX, and for now I'm gonna get this guy out of the way, put this guy in frame, and we go to open file, we can see here that if we go down to BLETX, we have a few things to choose from, and that's gonna be your Android Spam, the BLETX sample, and then the discovery packet. So if we go to sample over here, this is gonna kind of give us a visual reference of what's going on with BLE, and then uh, as well as this Portapack H4M over here, we'll do the same thing. And I know there's a lot of devices, and some of these may not or may be in focus. I'm using a manual focus 50 mil above for the top down here. If we look at the screen here, we have open file, we have the frequency right here, we have a few other settings like our gain, and then um, I believe that's amp. We have our Mac, we have our loop, we have play, uh, Mac address, obviously. We have our speed. Uh, the speed uh, is gonna be what samples we are transmitting at. And if you don't know, this is all gonna be under the Mayhem documentation on the GitHub. And under that there, we can see we have all of our fun stuff to read through. So our speed, and this is gonna be what our packets are being transmitted at. So speed one is 16 milli seconds per packet, 32, 48, 100, and 200, and so on and so forth. If you wanna read through this, I will put a link in the description below for you guys to go and check this out. But again, I'm not gonna read through all this. Uh, advertisement PDU, we discussed this in the BLET RX video. Uh, that is kind of just the um, type of devices which we are receiving or transmitting. And then we have our random toggles for MAC address like we discussed, save packets, switch to RX if you wanna jump from TX to RX, you can. Advanced non-connect uh, sample should look like, and then some other files there. We're gonna to try to keep this as simple as possible. I have that file selected, so it'll be LETX to open up, and then we have our mark data to ascend, and then our packet index zero, uh, repeat count is 1000, the MAC address there, and then the packet data to be sent. Now, if I go over here and I hit play, you're gonna see two things happen. On the H4M that is in the RX side, you're gonna see uh, one, of these Mac, one of these MAC addresses start populating a lot of data really fast. And that is obviously because this guy is transmitting data. You're also gonna see on the screen over here, waveform over here, you're gonna see a lot of spikes happen real fast too. And that's just gonna give you a visual of what is happening on the BLE side of things. Let's go ahead and hit play. And then there we can see right here that MAC address is 01020304, yada, yada, yada. And that is just cranking out. And then we can see over here on the CYD running Just Call Me Coco's firmware of 1.6.2 or one, um, we can see that that's where that graph is going. Now, if I run that again, we can see here that we are, we got all those hits going really fast. And then we can see here that there's our repeat count. And then of course, over here on this screen, we can see that we had a lot of data being transmitted. Uh, but if I go back to open file here, and let's say I go down to BLETX, 
Uh, we have that data file that we just did, so we have a new file that was populated from that. Uh, we could also go to Discovery Packet, and if we decide to play that guy, then you can see here as well that we are jumping up quite a bit. We have this going on over here, and then I now have another uh, ILC 7M4 that populated out of that. And then we have our hiss of 1055, and then we are done transmitting. So if I go back out of here, and I go back to receive, and I start from fresh, and I hit play again, we can see here that now we have an SDR Bluetooth low is what it is re registering the H4M as. And we can see that we are getting multiple hits as this counts down, this counts up. Um, this, you know, you don't, you don't have to have two ports back uh, to do this, but this is kind of just to give you a visual of what's happening on the receive side and the transmit side of the spectrum at the same time. So if we go back to open file now and I go to BLETX and let's say I go to the Android spam and I hit run on that, we can see here that we are spamming on this ILC. We are also spamming, uh, let's see here, on the D8 and a few others is what it looks like. So out of curiosity though, if I go to the Flipper Zero, we're gonna BLE spam, and we're gonna do the whole kitchen sink and caboodle, because I am curious to know what is gonna be happening over here. Let's go ahead and hit start. And then there you can see we are getting a ton of spam coming through uh, right then and there from the Flipper Zero. All right, so that is kind of the gist of the BLE TX on the Portifac H4M or H2 running Mayhem firmware 2.0 or greater. So yeah, thank you for your time. If you're new here, I do a few videos a week, anywhere between one to three videos a week is what I really set. So thanks for being here, I appreciate it. If you'd like to hit that like and subscribe and that little notification bell, that way you can be notified when new videos drop. I have a lot coming out for June. So again, thank you all for your time. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.